Hello everyone, welcome back to this tutorial. Uh, I'm sure you clicked on this uh, video because you were looking for a painterly look in Blender, just like what you can see on the screen right now. I'm in the middle of creating my own short animation film slash animated comic and I really love the style of Spider-Verse and uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and I wanted to replicate that with a decent performance. So I tried a whole bunch of different add-ons and all of them failed me. So here is what I came up with. Uh, first, if you have your model, um, actually go to Blender Extensions and type in UCU Paint or UCO Paint and it's a free Blender add-on um, in Blender 4.2. That you can uh, just add to your blender uh, and it's basically like a free substance painter for blender make sure you unwrap your model before uh, i just unwrap mine with smart uh, unwrap but as you can see i use it uh, a custom texture i have a different video on that matter um, you can check out i link it up here um, you can watch it after this video but yeah i basically just color my model quickly um, I start off with the paint bucket just color it all yellow uh, and then I switch back to my custom brush and I add a whole bunch of different colors uh, different values um, yeah different tones of yellow and orange to give it that already like kind of painterly look and that custom brush really helps to uh, yeah get that style going Next, we go to the shader. Um, first off, I, I saved my image um, that I just painted. So, I um, saved it on my computer. And then I actually ended up deleting the Yuko Paint uh, node setup and I just replaced it with a very basic uh, image texture uh, input. And I added my image into that, boom. Then next, I duplicated that input connected it just to the same UV and plugged it into a normal map, plug the normal map into the normal socket of the principal PSDF. Next up, change the color space to non-color and then I wanted to also put something into the displace displacement so I uh, duplicated the normal map and plugged that into the displacement then I found this brush flow add-on on blender market it's free and this is I'm going over this really quick right now this is basically what you see when you open up the file and you just append your model into this uh, uh, file and then change the object to whatever you appended just now. In my case, the, the reef plant. Uh, move this part over up there. And then when you change to render mode, you see this. If you don't see this, make sure the UV map uh, name fits the same uh, model. And then you basically go to edit mode and just brush on these brush strokes, hit render, and then it generates a normal map for you. It's amazing. Uh, I really, I really love this uh, this add-on. Back in Blender, I replaced my normal map uh, image texture to the actual one that I just rendered out, and played around a little bit with the strength. Um, and that's obviously up to you. So the lower one is for the displacement, the upper one is for the normal map. Just kind of uh, how, however you like it. This is a Blender EP by the way, um, but it works just as well in cycles. Next up, I added a hue saturation value node in order to switch colors quickly so I don't have to repaint 
I found, obviously this is for a yeah, underwater scene, so there's a whole bunch of different colors in the coral reef. So I wanted to be able to just quickly switch up the colors for different variations and such. So, um, yeah. Um, what I do usually, I create a whole bunch of assets for my asset library. So I just move that in that file and then importantly um, or important last step for this whole is the compositing setup uh, I start with a glare node you can just see the the values on screen I'm not gonna read them but you see the glare node um, then I move into the Kuahabahara node and then next up this is a note that I talked about before I have another tutorial on that but you can just basically screenshot um, the following uh, the following setup is very easy but it, it there's a little bit of color chromatic aberration um, to the scene uh, based on how far the models are apart from the camera and then I ended a little bit of lens distortion and then you get this and that's about it um, if you like this video give me a thumbs up uh, comment what do you want to see next and subscribe to our channel for more stay tuned again i'm working on this whole animated series so if you want to hear more about that uh stay tuned and subscribe i'm out <laughs>